In a world where data is the new gold, what happens when an entire data center goes dark? We rely on these massive server farms for everything, online banking, social media, even ordering a pizza. But what happens when those fortresses crumble? Billions of dollars lost, companies crippled, the internet, offline. Picture this, you're walking through a data center, right? Rows of servers humming away, everything looks good, right? Wrong. You look up and see, water, dripping from the ceiling, where's it coming from? The AC unit, these massive AC units essential for keeping servers cool, can also be their downfall. A single leak can short-circuit critical hardware and bring the entire operation to a halt. So, what's the fix? Water detection sensors. Think of them like little guardians, strategically placed under every AC unit. They detect even the smallest leak and send out an alarm before it becomes a disaster. And of course, regular maintenance is key. Check those AC units. Let's talk about the big one, a total power outage. A sudden loss of power can mean millions of dollars in losses per minute. So what causes these catastrophic outages? It could be anything from a faulty electrical system to a squirrel chewing on the wrong wire. Yeah, you heard me right, squirrels. But fear not, my data-loving friends, because there are solutions. First and foremost, you need redundancy. And I'm not just talking about a backup generator tucked away in the corner. We're talking dual power feeds, redundant circuits, the whole nine yards. Think of it like having a backup for your backup, because when it comes to power, you can never be too careful. Now, let's say the power goes out, what happens next? Your trusty UPS, uninterruptible power supply, kicks in. It's the first line of defense, keeping your servers running smoothly while the backup generator gets fired up. But what happens when your UPS fails? You're toast. So, how do you prevent this catastrophic failure? Regular load testing is crucial. And don't forget about those batteries. They have a limited lifespan, so make sure you're replacing them on schedule. Trust me, a little preventative maintenance goes a long way. generator failure the backup betrayal we've talked about power outages and ups failures but what happens if your backup generator the last line of defense decides to take a nap those backup generators are supposed to kick in immediately when the power goes out but sometimes they just don't maybe it's a faulty starter motor maybe the fuel line is clogged whatever the reason the clock is ticking every second without power is another nail in the coffin of your data center so how do you prevent this nightmare scenario rigorous testing weekly generator tests are a must Make sure that thing is running smoothly, that the fuel is flowing, and that it's ready to kick in at a moment's notice. Fire. When data goes up in smoke, let's talk about fire. Not the cozy kind, but the kind that can turn your data center into a smoldering pile of ash, a single spark, an overheated component, a stray cigarette butt, and suddenly, you've got a full-blown inferno. So how do you fight back? you need a top-of-the-line fire suppression system. We're talking about the kind that can detect a fire in its early stages and extinguish it before it even has a chance to spread. Earthquakes. Can your data center weather the storm? We've talked about water, fire, power outages. But what about earthquakes? These seismic shenanigans can shake, rattle, and roll your data center right off its foundation. Earthquakes can happen anywhere, anytime. So, how do you prepare? It starts with the infrastructure, earthquake-resistant rack mounts, shock-absorbing flooring, and off-site redundancy in geographically stable locations. Outro stay online, stay secure. How do you keep a data center running, no matter what? It takes a multi-pronged approach. First off, redundancy, redundancy, redundancy. Always have backups for power, cooling, and networking. And don't forget about those off-site backups just in case your primary location gets taken out. Second, real-time monitoring. AI-driven alerts can catch failures before they happen, giving you precious time to react. Finally, disaster recovery plans. Test them regularly because when something fails you need to act fast. Have you ever experienced a major data center failure? Tell us in the comments. And if you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more tech insights.